Howdy folks, welcome back to Duke Fraser Productions. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the accuracy of the 49 pocket model from Uberti. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so as we said, we're gonna be taking a look at the accuracy with this uh, little 49 pocket model. And uh, we're shooting today at right around seven paces. Uh, the reason why we're so close is that this is not a long-range precision firearm. This is across the card table, and seven yards is probably pushing uh, the max that this could could really handle. Although I might take this out and do it a little bit longer range, do it at, at 15 and, and 20, maybe 25 yards. Uh, but for today's testing, we just did seven yards, uh, just because this is such a, a anemic and short belt gun. And uh, the loading on this was uh, 15 grains of 3F Go X, a 3.23 diameter round ball, and then my own homemade grease um, placed on top of that. Now, a full disclaimer here, um, and you'll see this in the video, I'm sure. Um, I forgot to put the grease on before I fired the first shot, um, so it went a little bit wild. And my first group wasn't the best. Um, you'll see that on there. It it, it was a fairly tight group uh, but it was not the best group uh, around however when we went to the second grouping uh, we did not change the loading at all um, i just uh, I lowered the point of aim and we had uh, four shots that were touching one another uh, seven yards so i was very impressed with uh, how well this gun did after it fouled up a little bit uh, it seemed to to improve the grouping um, so uh, without further ado, we'll uh, head on over to the range and we'll show you what it did. So we are loaded up with the 49 pocket model and we're gonna see what it can do on accuracy. Now I've got my target stand set at seven yards because this ain't exactly a long range uh, precision firearm. <laughs> this is uh, basically a belly gun. This is the distance across the card table and the like. Um, so uh, we got the target set up out here, seven yards. I'm gonna aid dead center on it, and uh, I would imagine it would be fairly close to aim at that distance. Uh, but we'll see what it can do here. was hot grease coming back in my face. Dang, I'm hot. So, anyway, uh, we had the target here at seven yards, as we said, and uh, the grouping is not terrible. We got three that are pretty close, one flyer off to the right, and they're shooting a couple inches high of point of aim. Um, all right, so uh, we loaded up the pocket model here for a second time. Uh, this is the last time we'll run it because uh, I'm tired of fighting with cap jams on it already, and I've only fired it. This will be the second time through today. Uh, anyway, uh, we're at seven yards again, 15 grains, 3F Go X, grease on top of the ball because I don't have wads. And uh, we're going to move the point of aim to the bottom red dot. And I get hot grease blowed all over my hands.
Wow. I think we got four rounds up there touching. That one that's real low, I kind of jerked that one because after I got that hot grease on my hands, um, I had a flinch. Oh, God, this gun's a mess. Oh, man, is it a mess. I hate using grease. God. Freaking greasy son of a gun. I don't want to mess with that one anymore, but uh, we shot a really good group. Now, I'm going to have to go back and review the footage, but I think there's four bullets uh, sitting right up there touching one another. And again, we was aiming at the bottom uh, bottom target, or the bottom dot this time around. So I think that's going to take care of it for uh, the accuracy on this one. We'll get back to the Hacienda and do the, the talking portion. All right, again, as you can see, this uh, pocket model did uh, fairly well. Um, for uh, for being such a short short barrel gun, and uh, as I said earlier, I'll probably wind up taking this back out in sometime in the future and doing a little bit longer range with it, um, just to see how well it does uh, further out. Um, I don't think we'll bother doing 50 yards because I don't think it would reach out that far, but uh, we'll definitely do some a uh, little bit longer distance with it, kind of push it to its max, uh, sort of deal. And uh, one thing I want to add here is that. <laughs> I really, really hate using grease on these guns. Um, I just shot this one, um, well, I shot it last week and then things kind of got hectic around here and I haven't had a chance to clean it. Uh, the one saving grace of the grease is, um, it is definitely more forgiving if you don't get a chance to clean it right away because uh, that grease kind of gets over everything and it prevents uh, rust from forming. Um, so that is a saving grace there. Uh, the downside is is that the grease gets everywhere and it's a pain in the butt to get out. And one thing I noticed is when you're shooting this on a rest and that grease doesn't have any air to go out, it hits that rest, it gets all over everything. You probably heard me complain about me getting grease all over my hands. I was getting grease back in my face. Uh, you probably heard me spitting a couple times and it wasn't because I had a chew in, but it was because I had grease coming into my mouth as well. Uh, so it's not real fun, but it kept that gun running and it really didn't affect the accuracy all that much. We had really, really good accuracy with it. All right, folks, so that's going to take care of it for the video today on the accuracy of the uh, 49 pocket model. If you've liked what you see on the channel thus far, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there below. Uh, don't forget to check us over on Facebook. We're trying to do weekly updates over there. Uh, and also be sure to check out our Patreon page. Um, trying to get more updates on that as well um, and maybe go over check that out think about giving us something to help keep the channel going and on the next episode we will be taking a look at uberti's second model dragoon stay tuned and keep your powder dry